Hey guys, it's me now. So I'm gonna speak a little louder because I'm in the laundry room. As you can hear. And it just stopped. Okay, so I deleted the video yesterday that I did because uh, I was showing a little bit too much and um, my conscience didn't let it go and I deleted it. So I'm sorry if I um, tripped up anybody. Uh, it wasn't my intention. So I'm going to repeat what I said and add a little more. So yesterday I was driving around town because I had eight miles to empty and the whole gas around town was bought out because people were preparing for Hurricane Delta. And so right now I'm still at eight miles to empty and it got me thinking that in my spirit man, um, in which the Holy Spirit dwells, I have a full tank of gas. I will never run out because he is a never ending source of living water. He is the fountain of life that never runs dry. He is my source, my supply, my sustenance, my nourishment, who nourishes my soul when it's weary, who oils my vehicle, this vessel of clay, so that it runs this race for the Lord. You know, because we can get tired in our soul, in, in our minds, um, our bodies. But, you know, it says that the Holy Spirit is he's the power of a resurrection. And he quickens our mortal bodies. So, he is um, my full tank of gas. And he'll never have me run my vehicle down to empty. Because he will keep replenishing and restoring uh, me. So, okay. Now, I thought of something interesting from Ephesians verse uh, chapter 3, verse 10, where it says, To the intent that now unto the principalities and powers and having heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God. Let me read it another version so that through the church the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in heavenly places now let's just go up for context verse 7 whereof I was made a minister um, minister of what the gospel of Jesus Christ according to the gift of the grace of God given unto me by the effectual working of his power. So you can see that the grace of God is what um, works in Paul to preach the gospel, to do all his ministerial work. It's through the effectual working of the power of God. Um, Jesus is the one working. You know, Paul says, I have worked more than you all, or, you know, but it's not I, but it was not me, but, um, but Christ, not I, but Christ that uh, is in him, I'm paraphrasing, but is that works in him or through him. So verse 8, unto me who am le less than the least of all the saints is this grace given that I should preach among the Gentiles the unsearchable rich riches of Christ and to make all men see that, see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God who created all things by Jesus Christ. Okay. It, to the intent that now unto the principalities and powers in heavenly places might be known by the church the manifold wisdom of God according to the eternal purpose which he purposed in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. So there was a mystery and I believe the mystery was the church. Salvation was to, Jew, to the Jew first and then to the Gentile. Um, salvation has always been to the, for the Jews um, to, you know, what Jesus was saying that the bread is for the house of Israel. And the lady who was um, asking, the Gentile woman, was like, I can even have the crumbs. And of course, God knew, Jesus knew that salvation is also for the Gentiles, but 
um, it wasn't revealed. It wasn't revealed. The church that it was that was one body, the body of Christ, that composed of Jew and Gentile, one body where there there's no um, distinction. Um, there's no uh, bond or free man, um, like no slave or free man. There's no um, differences um, in terms of ranking or status or or rich poor like no we're all one in christ we're one entity one body there's one lord one spirit one baptism um it says it all here let me let me do it it says um Oh, I can find it. Yeah, right here in verse in chapter four. There is one body and one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. So this was the the mystery, the church, the church, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. You know, and even in the analogy of like a well-oiled well -oiled vehicle, um, the body of Christ is that one vehicle working, working, moving um, to be the hands and the feet of Jesus because we are the body of Christ. And he is building us. He is building us for um, his purpose. Um, of ministries ministry is serve is servanthood is is we are servants of the most high god no we are sons and daughters but service onto um uh, for his purpose you know how paul says i am a prisoner even of jesus christ i am a bond servant you know he's an apostle by the grace of god to preach the gospel so this the mission of the church is to um reach the lost because the spirit and the bride say come why are they saying come come you know all who are weary and heavy laden come to jesus and he will give you rest and we are his body so we minister we dispense you know dispensation of grace came to paul dispensation is like a stewardship we have this food we have the bread of life and we dispense it we give it out uh, through um, the ministry. We preach the gospel, the bread of life, the word of God, and people come to eat, to sup. Jesus is knocking, you know, Revelation, he's knocking on the door. And he says, he who hears, open it, you know, open unto him and he will come and sup with them. He is the, he is the, um, the food on which People will eat. It's, a, it's in order for uh, them to feast on Christ because he is the one who will nourish them with um, the living water, with bread, the manna. Um, so backing up, the mystery is the church. And I just saw that when he says the intent, the church his intent was for the church to show his manifold wisdom. It it begs to um, ponder, like the principalities and powers of angels, even the demonic entities, they are looking at the church and wondering, who is she? Who is she? As metaphorically, who is this bride? Who is this people? unified in the bond of the spirit we are a unique um is a mystery revealed that the angelic hosts are wondering these vessels of clay are is 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 who god chose to indwell the whole a whole spirit of god to indwell the, this this body of flesh and, and and corporately this corporate body of course we will be glorified the body will be glorified because Jesus the head was glorified and the and 
in that instant, the revelation, the birthing of the glorious church is when all will see the wisdom, what God foresaw in us. Vessels of clay, <laughs> mere mortals, that he will grant us immortality. He has given us eternal life, that this mortality will put on immortality. This corruption, this corruptible bodies will become incorruptible. It's, it's no eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has. And even now, angels and choir seek these things to, to, to know what, what, is, what is God teaching us? Why did he become flesh? Why did he become a man? Why was this the, the, the way salvation had to, to go, this mode, so that he could redeem the, fall, the fallen um, human race? Why? Why? There's so many questions of why. And God is, is teaching us, teaching us, teaching the angels and the demons are finding out too that this is what God had hidden from their eyes. If they knew salvation came through Jesus as a man who had to die, who was buried and who rose again on the third day, they would never have crucified Jesus. But thank God this mystery was hidden from them, from Satan. That he would redeem man by this, by this means. So the mystery of the church was is 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 a story that will be told um for all generations since it has been revealed um through Christ through his body it has been revealed and it will continue to be a testimony because we overcome the devil by our our um by the word of his testimony, by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And what is our testimony? The gospel of Jesus Christ. That he saved a wretch like me, a sinner like me. He did that finished work on the cross. On the cross that he redeemed me and all those who believed. Like, angels just wonder, wow. Really? What on earth? What in heavens? So, it's a beautiful mystery that God has revealed unto the world, unto the principalities and powers. And it is, it is, it shows the wisdom, the manifold wisdom of God. It manifests His glory. And I'm so grateful for that. Okay, I've gone beyond time, so I love you guys. I'll take care. Bye.